Well, this just doesn't happen every day anywhere, let alone a town of little more than 2,000 people. We continue our team coverage with Sydney Benter, who spent the evening with that tight knit community. Sydney, fill us in. Hi, Brad. We're about 20 minutes east of uh, Union Hill Road in Piketon, where the 46th annual Dogwood Festival kicked off just yesterday. We wondered if the tragic events of today would affect turnout and mood here. But as we found out, the folks in this small town say that they refuse to live in fear. It's our little hometown festival. We travel all around the state, but this is our hometown one, so... Lenny Carrico has been selling fries and lemonade at the Dogwood Festival for the last 22 years. She said it's been a little slow, which isn't unusual because Saturday and Sunday are usually the bigger days. But she thinks some people had reservations about coming out after the news of the murder spread through the small town. A little bit. I think a little bit. A lot of them want to kind of stay home. They don't want to you know, leave their houses and stuff, so it's stayed down a little bit. Lenny's grandson says students at Piketon High School weren't allowed to go outside of the building at all until the end of the day. He thinks he knows one of the victims and says although he's in shock, he wasn't fearful about coming out tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty tight community, so we're all out there supporting each other, so just hope this gets taken care of. That sentiment is shared by many who weren't going to let the day's events keep them holed up inside. It's just absolutely heartbreaking, but we have a really strong community that always sticks together whenever there's tragedy. It could, it could easily uh, you know, be a huge distraction. So everybody seems to be having a great time. And the festival continues here tomorrow and Sunday, culminates with a big parade on Sunday. That's what lots of people are looking forward to. There wasn't a big police presence here tonight. Obviously, they are otherwise engaged. Uh, but I did talk to one officer who said that the tips just poured in from the community. He said that's a true testament to just how much everyone here in Pike County wants to help this family get justice. Reporting live in Piketon, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Brad. Well, Sydney, probably nice to have a distraction tonight. Thank you. If you think that you have information about this Awful tragedy, no matter how small you might think it is, call the hotline 1 855 BCI Ohio. Again, 1 855 BCI Ohio. Or you can call the Pike County Sheriff's Office 740 947 2111.